Kyle Busch proves the triangle isn't that tricky in Pocono, and Christopher Bell reigns as king of the corn in Iowa. Hi everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn, and you're watching Rearview Mirror. Three trophies, two winners, and a weekend that established a newfound domination and reinforced an old one. First for the weekend, it was Kyle Busch letting the field know who's boss in the truck series. Saturday afternoon, Bush battled Eric Jones, a last-minute replacement for ailing Noah Gregson, and clinched his 51st NASCAR Camping World Truck Series win, tying him for the all-time series lead with Hall of Famer Ron Hornaday Jr. Jones held the lead at lap 52 of 60 until Bush surged ahead, overtaking the number 18 in turn one and beating him across the finish line by almost one and a half seconds. Bush was also driving the number 51, so perhaps a new lucky number, Kyle? Later that day, Christopher Bell grabbed his third consecutive win and fourth total on the season in the Xfinity Series. Despite the track turning into an obstacle course due to a few intense wrecks, Bell was able to overcome a spat of bad luck as well as a surging Justin Allgaier in overtime. The number 20 led 94 laps and luckily made it out relatively unscathed after Chase Briscoe spun out in front of him. After a red flag sent Bell back to fourth place, the 23-year-old thought his luck had run out. But the bold strategic move to pass Algaro paid off and placed Bell squarely in the history books. When it's your day, it's your day, Parker. I'll take him any way I can get him. Another hard-earned win and another heart-pounding race. Looks like this is certainly Bell's year. Now it's time to check out the Ford Hall of Fans Fan of the Week. My name is Buddy McPhillamy. I am the Ford Fan of the Week. Got a Yamaha golf cart cut and stretch. Got an international school bus with a Ford F800 motor in it. Built the golf cart, cut it, stretched it, had a good time playing with it. Same with the bus. Got tired of renting Winnebago's and having problems and leaks, so we built one. Come to the races, folks. Come to the races. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fame. You can win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience at the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. And last but certainly not least, the Cuffers race Sunday afternoon in what looked to be anyone's game. Kevin Harvick and Bush pole winner Daniel Suarez tried their best, but neither could catch up to rowdy rainmaker Kyle Busch. The race was relatively uneventful with a few cautions, one involving a blown tire and Brad Keselowski, until lap 154 when Bubba Wallace's brakes gave out and he slammed into the safer barrier. It was a tense moment as his team and the fans waited to see if he was okay. Thankfully, Bubba was able to lower his safety net and climb out of the car on his own. He immediately had to sit down what was cleared afterwards. Following the restart, Bush continued holding the lead and he outran his teammate Daniel Suarez. The number 18 collected his second victory of the weekend and tied Tony Stewart for 13th on the all-time Cup Series win list. Bush had kind words for Suarez and Harvick after the race. Harvick was the best car. We were the second best car. I think Suarez was the third best car. And Man, he gave us a run for our money there on those last couple restarts. Looks like not even the tricky triangle can defeat Kyle Busch, which begs the question of what or who can. That's it for Rearview Mirror. Check back in next week as the Xfinity and Cup Series take on the left and right turns of Watkins Glen.